Hey, this is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Ray blowing up. He's doing big things. He's doing big things. Because I really feel like we're in a nice, pretty place until you go outside and then the hood just creeps right back. Because you know I want to kill the Statue of Liberty dude outside in the street? All right, why? This is tax time. You don't trust those people with your taxes. Not on New Locks Avenue. This guy got a Timberlands on and he's dressed up like the Statue of Liberty. Don't even have the torch. It's just, you know, <laughs> we are living in the last days, right? You know what's so crazy? They said New York City got more shelters for animals than they do for homeless people. And that's crazy. Some poor homeless man outside cold just, well, I'll do anything to be a cat. You know what I mean? Just, it's just not right. <laughs> Meow, can just, it's cold out here. <laughs> well, my ladies at that don't like sports, I like, I, I think women who, don't, who are not into sports are sexy to me. I, I think, like my girl, she still think I'm at the Super Bowl. You know, she's just, where you going, baby, to the Super Bowl? <laughs> Who's playing the Giants and the Yankees for real? <laughs> she just called me. Who won? Mike Tyson, baby. <laughs> he played football. He sure. <laughs> Can we say this? I feel like this. Can we feel this? Like, I think technology is making us all lazy. Do we agree? Like it's making all, like we are not, we don't use our brains no more because it's just shot. I hate the fact that I rely on my cell phone. I hate it. I, I'm a slave to my cell phone. I hate that. Like you ever just leave your cell phone home and you know it's home? You still feel upset. Like you just, you feel like something is missing. I lost my cell phone. I was at a funeral, right? And I just started crying. And then they came over to console me. They was like, he's in a better place. I was like... Later for him. I'm trying, I need a cell phone. Where he go here, they don't need cell phones. I just, I hate the fact that I, I hate GPS. We all use GPS, whether it's on your phone or not. For what, right? You ever use your GPS to go to a place you already know how to get to? Because you're just lazy. You've been going to your parents' house forever, but you still pull it out in mommy's house. It's just lazy, right? <laughs> You ever feel like your GPS is getting upset with you because you're not listening to it? Right? Your GPS, you put in the coordinates, it's like 23 kilometers, make a left. What do you do? It's your car, you make a right. Don't it come back at you with an attitude like rerouting? Don't touch me if you're not, you know. I want a GPS to sound like somebody I know. Like, I want to sound like my homeboy. Like, tell me some real things. I don't want to know about final destinations or left or right. Like, I want to be driving down Linden Boulevard out of nowhere with my GPS come on, boom, boom. Yo, son, slow down, yo. <laughs> Police ahead, yo, and they profiling. Black Lives Matter, you know what I mean? <laughs> but like, yo, I like you, my dude. They come back on, boom, boom. I like you, my dude. I'm like, oh. for real, my G? Yeah, my G. I want to park my car somewhere in Brooklyn, right? That's crazy dangerous. And I want my GPS to come on. Boom, boom. Yo, son, not here, yo. They nice here, yo. This Bushwick, yo. They will have your car all over, yo. Don't do it. Put me in the garage, my G. I like you, my dude. I, I, I like you, too, my dude. Hey, that's all I want, right? I want to be in a car with my girl, and then I want to get out, and then get back in, and then my GPS come on. Boom. Yo, not for nothing. When you left, she was looking in the glove department for numbers. She was talking about you, my dude. Talking about this a whack car. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, my dude. Don't worry, I got you, my dude. Your girl start to argue with you, right? You believe your car, right? It come right back on. Yo, I videotaped the whole thing, my G. She thinks she's slick. Get rid of her, yo. She keyed your car up the last time. <laughs> Cause we lazy. That's what it is. We lazy, right? I don't know what we gonna do. We're living in the last days. They got Viagra for women now. Wow. Yeah, they got Viagra. Women can take Viagra. 
That's all we need now, right? Women are rocking around here with hard clitoris, right? It's just, if you don't move that finger from away from me. Hey, <laughs> ladies, how many ladies in here, if you could, if your man could detach his penis, you would take it and you would keep it with him? Just clap it. You would keep it. You would never see selfish. That look is just selfish. Right, fellas? We couldn't go nowhere, right? Because everywhere you move, give me it, give me it, give me it. Yo, I'm going to the store. You don't need it to go to the store. Yo, I'm going out. Give me it. Give me it. You gonna be dancing with it at a club? Give me it. Give me it. But what if I gotta pee? I'll pee for you. I'll pee for you. I think you slick, yo. Right? That'll be the only time you won't let your girlfriend watch your purse when you go to the ladies' room, right? So like, I'll watch your back. No, you won't. No, you won't, sneaky. I'm gonna take this duffel bag with me to the... You watch your little curling purse, you just... Right? <laughs> we would never, you would never go nowhere without your penis. They would just have it. Ladies, what's the worst thing that can happen? You got your man's penis in your purse. You out in East New York late at night. Somebody rob you for your purse. They just snatch your purse and keep running. Now you gotta call your man, baby. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe it. <laughs> Yo, what happened? I don't know how to tell you. Yo, what happened? Yo, they robbed my purse. Who? I don't know. They went to the village. They was hanging out in the village. Yo, I'm going to kill you. Yo, now you got to go to the police department, look at that photo album. No, that ain't it, yo. That ain't it. Turn the page, no homo, turn the page. All right, but <laughs> every man in there, ladies, what, will lie when it come to his penis. It be a picture like this in a photo album. Yeah, that's it, that's it. You sure, sir, that's a horse. Yeah, that's it, I know, I know my joint when I see it. But it's dark skin and you light skin, I know my joint. I bleached it, I bleached it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to tell your man, yo, where you? <laughs> I don't know. We're living in the last days. That's all I'm going to say. That's all. I got a ticket the other day. I got a ticket the other day for drinking and riding. I was drunk on a bicycle. Did you know that? You could get a ticket or ride. Did you know that? How many people knew it? I did not know. <laughs> that, right. Bloomberg did that. Bloomberg, yo, I'm tore up from the floor, but I had a bicycle. So when the cops rolled up, they was like, whoa, whoa. I was like, yo, oh man, Black Lives Matter. They gonna mess with me, right? They said, yo, get off the bike. I was like, oh, you been drinking? Yeah, get against the bike. I was like, why would y'all have me against my bicycle? Right, walk a straight line, I'm drunk, right? I was like, you're going to jail. I was like, please don't suspend my bicycle license. I need it for work, please. I got an RDI, right? Can't even ride a bike with my kids no more. Dad, ride with us. Can't. I can't. My bicycle license suspended to August. I don't know what to do. It's crazy. Bloomberg did that. You remember when Bloomberg tried to ban 16 ounce sodas? You remember that? Like, yo, oh, come on. That was just, he's just arrogant and cock. Like, could you guys imagine if he would have banned sodas across the board? Yo, that would have been the new drug in the hood. Right? You'd have been walking around. Yo, Come here, come here, yo, come here, I got that. Pepsi, go check it out, yo, take, take a sip, take, yeah, that's that real stuff, you like it? I know, yo, let everybody know, I'm hugging the block, I got mad cases, I go to Walmart, BJ's, I'm stacked, yo. I got 64 hours, 10 hours. <laughs> I've been a new drug in the hood. <laughs> Right, you could imagine a kingpin soda seller. <laughs> he got mad cases of 64 ounces. <laughs> he in jail, what happened? I don't know, somebody from Coke snitched on me, yo. I don't know. We're living in the last days, yo. We are living in the last days. I was just down south. Where my folks that got roots down south? We got roots, yeah? Let's go. Cool. I love it down south, because they make you realize how you're supposed to act. Like New Yorkers, we forgot how you're supposed to act as a human. I was driving down south, and if you ever seen this happen, I can't make this up. I was driving down south 
on 85 South going to Atlanta. I seen a house go by me doing 35 miles per hour. Then five minutes later, the other half of the house, and I was like, you know what? I gotta stop drinking. I gotta stop drinking because I'm seeing houses on the... <laughs> I'm like, maybe it's my blood pressure. Like, I just, I know I just seen the living room pass by me. I like the hustle. Y'all ain't gonna like me on this one, but I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I promise you I'm gonna say it. What's the newest hustle in the hood? Anybody know? Y'all ain't gonna like it. Y'all are not gonna like this joke, but I'm gonna say it, because what is the truth? Force the kids. That is the newest hustle. I know. I know. I, I knew I was gonna lose y'all. I know that's messed up. Listen, these kids need love, but people are hustling the system. This is my only thing, right? If you need to force the kid, right, I think when you go, you shouldn't be able to pick out the kid. If you say, I want to get a couple of kids, they should do the background check on you. If it comes back, you got some kids. But those of y'all who got kids and know the system, the worse the kid is, the more money you get. And that's where the, that's where the hustle come in wrong. I'm going to let y'all know now. I don't care how y'all feel about me. Let times get slow for me. I'm going right to that agency and get me a couple of kids. And I'm going to go down there and be like, okay, okay. Um, how much for the regular month? You know, how much for him? They got to explain the kid. He could draw. He just need a hug. A hundred dollars. Nah, nah, I'm going to check out another kid. That ain't, you know. As soon as I get him a shirt, I ain't going to have no money for me. I'm going to skip the whole line and go to the worst kid and the folks kid. They're going to have him chained up. Give me him. How much is it? $1,500. I'll take him. They got him tied up in the bed. He come with a birth certificate and instructions. I'll take him. $1,500. Give me him right now. Right? He don't even come home with you. They ship him. UPS. There's a big box outside of your house three days. What's that What's that now? What you got in there? Don't worry about it, 1500 Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you, know, you know who going to be nosy? Your family members, because they always want to see your, your, your family members are nosy, but they act like they really care. They come up, let me see my little nephew. <laughs> what the? Why, why is he? Why you rapping? What, what is he? <laughs> Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave them chains on. Don't take them chains on. He'll kill us and have a new family on Monday. Leave him alone. 1500 <laughs> Be quiet, Ezekiel. Be quiet, Ezekiel. You know what's so crazy about that? <laughs> right, black people, we'll get a foster kid older than us. We don't care. You 37, you're foster kid 59. You don't care. He's just sitting there for his birthday. <laughs> Say happy birthday. <laughs> Say happy birthday, Zika! <laughs> Leave him alone! <laughs> he got a little birthday hat on. <laughs> Say happy birthday to your cousin! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all look at that. Some, I lost the people in the back there. It's like, that's not nice. It's like, not funny. Because they need love. <laughs> they do need <laughs> love. They do, I'm just saying. They gotta change it. If anybody here at work in it, they just gotta change it. I hate, I hate, I, you know what I hate? I hate disrespectful little kids. You know what I check? You know what makes you grown officially? A lot of y'all don't even know this. You know what makes you grown officially? The vaccination mark in your arm. Cause you gotta be at least 35 or older to have the mark. Like when I date somebody, I'm like, hey, you look beautiful. Could you roll your sleeve up? I just wanna, how about you a winner? You a winner. <laughs> I hate, I hate disrespectful little kid. This little boy was throwing rocks in my neighborhood and I stopped him. I said, hey, stop throwing rocks. You're going to break a window. Your parents is going to pay for it. And he's like, get off me, mister. You ain't my father. That's what he said. So I choked him. I, I grabbed him. No, I didn't like kill him, but just grabbed him. Right? <laughs> and said, go get your parents. He came back with his mother. I was like, okay. She was younger than him. That's how she acted. What happened, mister? Were you and my son? I was like, you know what? Get your grandmother. Go get your grandmother. Because you ain't got one of these in your arm. Matter of fact, go get your great-grandmother. Because <laughs> I hate disrespectful kids. 
That's just like the little girl who got like we went through last year. Was it last year? The year before? It was some disrespectful kids on the train, and I was loving every. I got the best of. Are them kids getting tore up? I got the uh, eight ball jacket guy. I got that on speed. What? Yeah, remember? He got on the train, mind his business. They was disrespecting him. Bow! Gave her. I was like, I love him. I reversed it to show my kids. Watch this. Uh, bow! Watch it again. Uh, that's what happens when you get in because you ain't got one of these. You ain't got a dot on your own. Remember the girl on the bus? He taught. What? He is my hero! Right? He's like, you going to act like a man? Oh, get your I was like, I love him because he had one of these because he grown. I hate this shit. <laughs> Little girl in the classroom, they asked her four times to give up that phone. Four times. Right? right. No, yeah, it was excessive force, but they told her she'd been told four times. And he WWF her all around that damn classroom. I was like, I love you. You are my hero. Cause he got one. Of, if he was black, black people wouldn't say that. Black people wouldn't say that. But the fact that he was white, but no, cause she's disrespectful. And I would have loved to been the teacher in that damn classroom. I'd have loved it. Once the news and everybody had left, I'd adjust my class like class. What have we learned today? <laughs> give up that phone when they, <laughs> when the adult asks you to give up that phone, or you gonna be spinning around here like laundry. You know who else I love? That lady from Baltimore. She my hero too. I got a picture of her near Jesus, Malcolm X. Her picture right there. You know where Jesus is. <laughs> and Kennedy, her picture right there. Remember, them kids was looting. It was 200 kids in the street. This, her son had a ski mask on. He was running around. She was like, Daryl? He was like, Mama? Is that my mama? I heard my mama. <laughs> boom! Boom! That's my hero! Cause she got one of these on her arm. That's all I'm saying. I just hate disrespectful kids. That's right. Right. That's, he was running. He said, that's my mama. I heard her. I know I heard my did y'all hear my mama voice? And they set her up. I was like, please have somebody prep her before she go on CNN, because her name was Coco. Her name was Coco. I was like, God, please have somebody say, say this, don't know. They set her up. She got right in the camera. What, uh-huh, what, what? I killed him dead. Yes, I did, yes, I did. Miss Coco, that's gonna miss Coco. I'll do it again. I was like, that is my hero, because she got a dot in her arm. That's what makes her grow. <laughs> Hey guys, please follow me at MikeTroy00 on Instagram. Uh, Brooklyn, be everywhere. Thank y'all for listening. One.